Welcome to Rubicon History. Wait. What is this? What is happening here? Huh. No, no, no. What? None of that is true. Don't read that. Don't read that. None of that is true. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. <sighs> okay. In this episode, we'll be looking at Julius Caesar in the... Wait a second. Wait. No, 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 no. Wait. No, 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 no. None of that is right. What is happening? No. Wait, what is this? What? No. Wait. <sighs> okay, anything else? Anything else? No? No. No, 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 no. Ah. Julius Caesar. Oh, that's going to be a thing this episode, isn't it? Was a Roman general and politician who eventually invaded Rome, his own civilization, starting a civil war, which he won, and gave himself absolute control of the once Republic of Rome. He was eventually assassinated by Roman senators on March 15th, 44 BCE, in what would later be remembered as the Ides of March. Hmm. You know it would go good right here, right now? A quick way to deliver the sentiment about Caesar's legacy? in the cafeteria remember to wash your produce so you don't get listeria then add garlic and lemon in the parmesan bind it all together with old pepper egg and dijon don't even think about adding any anchovy paste only a savage would prefer this dish with a fishy taste yeah. toss it all gently finish it with croutons sit down and enjoy it just don't spill it on your futon caesar salad Wait, what? You aren't talking about the food to me? The salad was named for its inventor, Caesar Cardini. Hola! Okay, well then let me spit about Julius, who started a civil war and who some called a hooligan, who was told, don't bring your army home, but did, who helped the poor in the streets as a rule again, who saw Pompey in the Senate as corrupting business, so he crossed the Rubicon and put the government in stitches. like a singer that gets the gun he was told being dictator for life was wrong he saw the government falling apart and stepped on up he said miss me with this rome's no longer a republic blah, 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 say, blah, blah, blah. he was not nice he left all the people of rome without a democratic choice yeah well i guess you're right even though most didn't complain they were given money a place to live in respect to their name They talk of what Rome lacks. Even friends want to stab Julius Caesar in the back. An ambush, an assassination, a murder, a quick hit. Who's that who said I couldn't make a good rhyme using fun dip? Elizabeth! Caesar is the guy who leaves his enemies for the crows. Conquered the Gauls like a conquered dude. But here we are, senators around a dead dictator. Confident and smug like a look who took out later.
That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Julius Caesar came to power and was able to convince allies and the common people of Rome to go along with him proclaiming himself dictator for life. He wasn't elected, nor did Romans have a choice in the matter, but it sure would have been great to see an ad for Caesar's political campaign. for every Roman. Total control today to build a better tomorrow. Building a better tomorrow. Hello, I'm Julius Caesar, and as dictator for life, I'll work hard to make government strong. And if you're currently poor, I'll be working to fix that too. Because hey, you're not a barbarian. You're not a stinky barbarian. Hey, you remember that time when Pompey and Crassus ruled over Rome and did all those great things for you? No, you don't. Why? Because they were garbage. And after Crassus was killed, I kicked that Ned Pompey right out of Rome. I came, I saw, I kicked butt. Triumvirate. Should have called it a onevirate. He came, he saw, he conquered. You like culture? Cool. Because I'm going to be building a theater a library, things to make us look wicked smart. I'll throw in some roads while I'm at it, because Romans are going places. Roads off driving stuff. I'm working with our best mathematicians and astronomers to develop a new calendar, because of the sun and all that noise. And also, name a month after myself, because hey, I'm Julius frickin' Caesar. Numbers and science and ego. A leader for every Roman. Total control today to build a better tomorrow. You may have no choice, but when I'm working this hard for you, do you really need one? Build a better tomorrow. I'm Julius Caesar, and I approve this message. Julius Caesar, in full control of Rome, began to implement his reforms, but he was not in full control of the Senate, as it were, and some of them in the Senate began planning Caesar's downfall. Rubitunes! Friends! Romans! Countrymen! Lend me a, <coughs> lend me a, <coughs> lend me a, you know what, just forget it. Welcome. Today's meeting is concerning our common problem, the destruction of our glorious republic. If you are here, then you know the cause of it. Before we get started, though, I'd like to thank Aurelius for bringing the beet juice and Cyprian for the artichoke dip. I'm also glad to see Magnus's wife let him leave the house for once. <laughs> hey -o! I'm Cassius. Hi, Cassius. And today we are meeting to discuss what to do about our so-called dictator for life, Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar has destroyed our great republic. He's all like, look at me, I'm king now, I'm making all these reforms and people love me. We need to save Rome from this monster. We need an idea. So, any ideas? Yes? It seems to me that we should appeal to the people. We should educate them. Tell them what happens down the road if we just become a monarchy. Show them that although Caesar's initiatives are helping them now, it is at the expense of the power to choose their own path. I trust the common people will listen to reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, thank you so much for that suggestion. We will really, really consider it. We could prank him. I heard about a senator who had a knock at his door, and when he opened it, there was a burning sackcloth there. He immediately stomped it out, only to find the sackcloth was filled with poop. What? Poop. It was a prank. The poop was in the sackcloth. It was a 
was everywhere. And how does it this? It was all in the lines of my sandals. I had to throw them out. And how does that help us get rid of Caesar? Because, you know, stop being a dictator or get burning poop at your door. You have to kill him. Caesar deserves nothing short of death. He is an enemy of the Republic. He will not lay down his power, so we must take it from him. It is up to us. We will be heroes of the Republic, reclaiming the government for the people from this would-be king, this traitorous slime. He deserves the worst kind of death for his betrayal. Ooh, dark. Oh, and what would we use? Well, maybe a cow. A cow? Yes, we get the cow real mad like. Bring it into Caesar's bedroom, slap it on the butt, and let it go all over Caesar's face. Maybe hit it with a spoon. Because, you know, it'll hurt more. Make the cow matter. <laughs> We will use daggers concealed under our robes. We will surround Caesar, and then we will attack. Each of us will strike Caesar so that we are all equally responsible for his death. Oh, dark. But when would we do it? How about the 13th of March? No, I can't. My son has a big school debate that day, and I told him I would go. How about the 14th? Yeah, um, it's my anniversary that day. My wife is being a real pain in the toga about it this year. Well, okay. How about the 15th? Okay, it's settled then. We will murder Caesar on the 15th of March and retake our Republic. Now, let's have some snacks. Hey! Julius Caesar's days were numbered. Although there were some close calls that the conspirators' plan might be discovered, the 15th of March, 44 BCE, eventually arrived. Welcome back to Pompey's Theater, where we just witnessed an ambush on Julius Caesar. Buck, can you walk us through a replay? Well, I sure can, Don. As you can see, Caesar sat down in this chair to listen to government issues from his senators. The conspirators are going to get up from their seats in the Curia and approach Caesar, surrounding him so he doesn't have any escape. As they close in, Caesar realizes something is wrong. The senators then pull daggers that were concealed in their robes, and it's at this point that Caesar is attacked. And what's happening now, Buck? Well done. Uh, as I said, Caesar is attacked. Wow. This is brutal. It was brutal, Don, as a lot of history is. Caesar is stabbed anywhere from 23 to 27 times. I have to be honest with you, Buck. This is kind of hard to watch. I, I do hope he's okay. He's dead, Don. Oh. True or false, Julius Caesar's assassination was supported and praised by the people of Rome. If you pick false, you're right. To the average Roman, Caesar's reforms meant positive changes in their lives, and Romans were generally angry at the Senate's actions. To review, Julius Caesar came, saw, and conquered, and he was killed for it. The reforms he made in invoking the title of dictator for life was too much for some in the Senate, who planned his assassination believing that Caesar's death would lead to the return of the glorious Republic. They ambushed him in 44 BCE on March 15th, later called 
the Ides of March. After his death, however, the conspirators in the Senate's plan backfired. The Republic, as Rome knew it, would never return, and the Empire of Rome would soon begin. And now you know, and there's no turning back. Now it's time to say goodbye Just as I was on the rise But don't feel bad for me Cause I got legacy Cause I got legacy Cause I got legacy. Hey, you gonna be remembered in 2000 years? 